Hello my YouTube beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be doing a Sephora haul. I have two boxes here of Sephora products that I've ordered over the last couple of weeks and I wanted to share them with you because I've ordered so much. I don't know, it seems like Sephora and just Ulta, you know, makeup products in general, they're just more, like more things are happening in the makeup world and things are being released. So I saw a bunch of new things and I figured I'd pick them up. Some of these things I have the hair right here. It itches. Some of these products are repurchases. Some of them are brand, most of them are brand new to me. So I wanted to show you guys what I picked up from Sephora. So if you enjoy haul videos, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're enjoying it, if you wanna keep seeing more videos and be sure to subscribe, I do upload twice a week. Like I said, I have a lot of products. I don't think I've ordered this much from Sephora in a very long time. I feel like in terms of makeup products, I've just been like, it, things have felt halted and like new things aren't happening. Things don't look interesting. I don't know. I just haven't been very inspired by a lot of the makeup that I've been seeing. That has changed <laughs> and I've spent way too much money. It's funny, this is a smaller box, but there's more items in it. So that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> First product that I purchased is the Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray. This is my favorite hairspray. And I say hairspray, it's not a hairspray. It is a moisturizing, detangling, smoothing kind of spray that you put on damp hair before you blow dry it. This smells amazing. I have not purchased this in probably years because I've been trying to be a little bit more conscious about like how much I'm spending on my hair products. So I've been using the, what is it? not your mother's 10 in one perfecting spray, but I love the smell of this. I don't know what it is, but this smells so good. This is my perfect all in one detangling, moisturizing, smoothing, heat protectant, like all of the things that I would want in a spray before you blow dry your hair is in this. And it's very expensive, so I haven't purchased it in a long time, but figured, you know what, I have not been purchasing makeup products or beauty things and I have a little bit of extra money, so why not? And I'm very excited I get to have this in my life again because it's so good. My butt bones hurt on this chair. I need to get a nicer chair. Look, I have like a, it's like a hard chair. I need a better chair. <laughs> Next product I got, this was also a splurge, okay? This is the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. I love the Belief Moisturizer, the Aqua Balm. Oh my gosh, it's the best moisturizer in the entire world. But I have never purchased a full size of the Moisturizing Eye Balm. It's such a bummer because there's only 0.84 ounces of product in here. Like, it's not a ton. I wish that there was more in it because the bottle is pretty large, but I have gotten these little sample sizes of the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm in pretty much every order that I've gotten. Like if I have 100 points here and there, I will pick this up and it lasts such a long time. You get 0.17 ounces of product in these samples. So I really love them when I get them in a sample size and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna spend the $48 or whatever it is <laughs> to buy this because I have been using the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream for a long time. But I was like, compared to this, I think this is better. I see such a difference in like elasticity and how smooth and how hydrated my eyes look when I use this. I really hope I don't go through it very fast. And I have this little sample to like kind of help me out. It said, now is the time to splurge on the skincare products I know work for me and I really love. I'm tired of buying really expensive skincare products and not knowing how they work or spending all this money on something that I really don't love. And I feel like this product I really do love. And I only have a handful of products now. Like I have my makeup eraser cloths. I have, oh, I'm getting hungry. This is the thing with pregnancy, you guys. Like I feel so hungry all the time. And it's like clockwork. 11, 11.30 comes around, I am hungry. 4, 4.30 comes around, I'm hungry. 8, 8.30 comes around, I'm hungry. Even if I have three solid meals a day, I'm hungry and I'm hungry now. <laughs> Let's hope I can get through this without getting a snack. I might have to get a snack. <laughs> I have my makeup eraser that I love. I have my cleanser, my moisturizer, and my eye cream that I super love. I really only use those four products for like my everyday skincare routine. And then I have one or two face masks that I love and I feel like that's it. Like I'm set on the skincare regimen. I don't need to really explore a ton 
of new products. I used to buy so much new skincare and I just never used it. And it just like, no, all of it didn't work out for me. So I got the A Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation and Skincare. Here's the thing. I've already bought this a while ago. It, I actually bought it off of the It Cosmetics website because they had like a 30% off sale. So it was a lot more affordable but they sent me the wrong shade and then I had to send it back and I had to pay for shipping to send it back. It was stupid. So I would not repurchase from the It Cosmetics website. I wasn't very happy with it. I finally got the right shade. I got Fair Neutral. I'm really hoping that this is the right shade for me. The other one was like a medium to deep shade. We'll see, we'll see, it looks close. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people rave about this. It doesn't claim to be a mattifying product, but honestly, I've been really into more radiant slash natural slash a little bit glowy foundations lately. I feel like it makes my skin look a little bit more natural and skin-like. So this is supposed to be water light, medium coverage, and a natural radiant finish. We'll see. I'm gonna be doing a video on a lot of these new foundations or you know powders that I've picked up. I feel like these two orders, I picked up a lot of foundation type products. So I'm definitely gonna be doing videos on a lot of these. I also picked up the new Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. I have mine in the shade 120. Looks a little deep, we'll see. Uh, I love the Fenty Beauty, like the Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. It can make you look a little oily, even though it's supposed to be soft matte, I wouldn't say it's the most mattifying foundation, but I've seen really good reviews on this and I'm excited to test out the powder version. All right, what is this? It's been so long since I've bought this. Like, I don't even know what I have in here. This is, oh, this is uh, with my points. I got the tiny version of the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. This is the mascara. I did a video on it where it has two different sides. It has a volumizing side, which are like shorter bristles and they go kind of like this. There's a little indent in it. And then you have a longer bristle side to separate and lengthen. It is my favorite mascara of all time and it's very expensive. So I found this and it's like, it was in my 100 point little thing along with the Belief little eye balm. So I got these as my points and I'm so excited because now if I run out of that, I have a little mini version of it until I can buy the bigger one again. I also picked up the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Brighten and Correct Duo. I'm pumped about this. I saw so many good reviews about this and my shade was out of stock for the longest time. It's a concealer, so it's double-sided. Again, I'm also gonna be doing a video on this. One side says correct camouflage and the other side says brighten. I'm gonna test it out, see if it's worth the money because this was not a cheap concealer, but let's see how it goes. I'm hoping that it's kind of similar to the NARS Soft Matte Creamy Concealer in that it's a little bit less of a liquidy deal and more of a spot kind of conceal product. This was a splurge. I was like, do I want this? I've seen so many good things about this. This is the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Strengthening Treatment Oil. This has so, like so many people on YouTube rave about this. Taylor Wynn talks so highly of it. And I have been kind of in the mood for some new hair care products. I mean, obviously I'm buying some more like expensive things that I wouldn't usually buy. And I'm running a little bit low on my serums that I use. I really like the Verb Ghost Oil. I like that one. I also have a Paul Mitchell one that I've had forever. It smells like green apples. And then I also have another one. It was like a surface brand from a hair salon that I used to go to. So I'm running low on all of those and I didn't really know which one I wanted to repurchase, but I've heard really great things about this. I think it smells like roses. So I really hope it doesn't reek of roses because I'm not a fan of the rose smell. But there are little baby roses in here. How cute is that? Let's smell it and see how it, how it smells. It doesn't smell like roses. What's the deal? Maybe it's just because it's fancy, I don't know. But this is an oil that you apply onto your hair before you blow dry it or after you blow dry it. Apply a few drops to dry or damp hair, focusing on mid length to ends. Okay, so you can use it either way. I like to use my products before I blow dry, but I also might like to put this on to smooth after I blow dry, so I'm very excited about that. One box down. I reordered another one of my, the makeup eraser sponges by Sponge that I use 
every single day for foundation is finally starting to get like a little bit dingy towards the top, towards the pointy part. So I was like, you know what? I'll just get another one. It's only like 18 bucks. So it's cheaper than the beauty blender and it lasts so much longer because you can throw it in the washing machine, gets every ounce of foundation. Now I can never get all of my foundation out of a beauty blender. I just cannot. It comes with this little, you know, cage, if you will, when you put it in the washer and the dryer. I wish that you could just buy the sponge because I already have the little cage and if I could save money and not buy the little cage that it comes in, I would do that. I wish that it knocked like five bucks off of the product. It's supposed to last up to six months and I would definitely say mine has lasted even longer than that. I love this sponge. If you have been using the Beauty Blender, you're missing out because this is better. This was not a sample, but an actual product I purchased. It just is a smaller version. It's the Makeup Forever Shine Control Step One Primer. Do you guys remember these primers from years ago? And it used to be in everyone's favorite video. Everyone used to use these. I'm actually not a fan of how the product is made. The packaging, I'm not a fan of because there's, the product is thicker. And so when it comes out of this tiny, tiny, tiny little applicator, it takes forever to get any product out. I'll show you. Hold on. Um, they had a full size version and it was kind of expensive. And I was like, I'll just buy the smaller one and then see how I like it. This is the tiniest little applicator. And because the, like I said, the product is thick on the inside. So it takes forever to get this product out and it just is a pain. So, but I saw they came out with this one. This is a newer one, it's shine control. So hopefully it'll shine control me because I'm oily and I need it, but I didn't wanna spend, you know, whatever, 30 bucks or whatever on the full size version. I just wanted to try out this size before I bought the, the bigger one. Um, I picked up the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator heard a lot of good things about it. It's supposed to be medium coverage. It has kombucha and marula oil in it. I really love marula oil. Like that is one of my favorite skincare ingredients. It is so nourishing. So I love that it's in here. I, like I said, I am oily skinned, but I've seen some really, really good comments about this. So I wanted to pick it up and try it. It's the only like Urban Decay foundation that I've been relatively interested in, in a long time. Then here we go. Here's another foundation I picked up. I don't know, I was on a foundation kick. I feel like I have not purchased a new foundation in so long and all of a sudden I'm like, here's five. <laughs> this is, I haven't seen this before, but it reminded me a lot of the Makeup Forever Matte Foundation. I don't remember what it's called. This is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Longwear Foundation. It's supposed to have a perfect natural finish, medium buildable coverage. I don't know, I just saw it and I was like, that looks like it's makeup forever, <laughs> but it's Sephora. And I think it's probably like the printing of the words on the bottle looks very much like it, but I wanna try it out. And so it'll be coming for you in a future video. Let me know down below, which foundation do you guys want to see first? The It Cosmetics one, the Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation, the Urban Decay, Hydromaniac or the Sephora Best Skin Ever. Let me know which one you guys are interested in seeing first. And then the last product I got, this was with my points and I'm pumped about it. I think this was like a 250 point thing. I don't know. I was really, really excited when I saw it because I don't have something like this. So this is a Beauty Insider, the Skincare Spatula and Plush Spa Headband Set. I actually really just needed a new headband for when I do my skincare. And then I was like, oh, it comes with this little spatula. That's fun. I can like use it with masks, you know? And then it also comes with this. Ooh, ooh, this is soft. Look at that. I hope it fits my head. But it's cute. It's got a little thing, you know, a little bow thing. I am pumped about this little headband because I need a new one. All right, so there you go. That is all of the products that I picked up in this haul. I cannot believe how much money I spent in this haul. It is, I'm uncomfortable thinking about it. <laughs> Sephora is so expensive, but like I said, I haven't splurged in a while, so I figured it was time. If you have picked up anything recently from Sephora or if there's anything in here that you picked up, let me know that down below. I'm always curious to hear your guys' feedback. I think I'm gonna go eat some food because I'm starting to get a little lightheaded. That's what happens when you're pregnant and you're hungry and you don't eat for, like you don't eat when your hunger says you need to eat, then you get lightheaded. It's not my fault, I'm gonna blame it on the baby. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.
拜。